Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And I literally cannot believe I'm doing this kind of story for a second time. If you are a father or grandfather of a girl, a woman, uh, if you have a sister, a niece, female friends, your mother, what would you expect to happen to someone, a man, a grown man, who attacked them and awed them? Personally, I think at my age now, I'd just find them. I would just, you know, end them. I will, I, I'm just at the point now, it wouldn't bother me. I'd end them painfully and slowly, but that's just me. What would you expect the courts to do, though? Would you expect the courts to punish them? Would you expect the courts to imprison them for seven to ten years? Something like that. I certainly would expect that, but not, of course, if it was modern-day Scotland. Because in modern-day Scotland, they don't like to punish people like this. They want to let them walk free without a criminal record. And to do so, it's important that before they go to court, Dorothy Bain deliberately stops the case and says, no, this must not proceed. This must not be heard. Modern day Scotland, where R is now just a sport for young men. Let's have a look. Teenager, who is the victim in this case, is told that the alleged Ara, the, you know, can't say the word, YouTube doesn't like it, won't face justice despite the Scottish Government review. Now, we did the case um, sort of middle towards the end of last year where there was the man who Ara'd a child, but because he was under 25, the court said, well, we're not going to send you to prison. You can do some litter picking. Uh, and that was his punishment for Aring a child. Uh, and everyone was up in arms and it was outraged. And so the Scottish government said, oh, well, we'd better do a review. People don't like us letting people who do this to children walk free because apparently they haven't gaslit you enough into allowing people to do things like this to children yet. They're working on it. They are working to legalise this kind of thing. But um, there was a bit of an outrage. So they said, oh, we'll have a review. And so they had this review and they've done precisely nothing. The 18-year-old girl came, a woman, let's be honest, 18-year-old woman, bravely came forward after her alleged attacker was allowed to walk free hours before he was due in court. And wait till you see the reason. If you're angry now, if you're angry now, wait till you see why Dorothy Bain made the decision to allow this man to walk free and not face justice in modern day Scotland where women are just there to be used. A teenage girl, let's call her a woman, she was 18, whose alleged R sparked a review of a government policy where under 25s can evade prosecution has branded it a box ticking exercise after she was told her attacker will never face justice. The public outcry over the ordeal revealed by the Sunday Mail led to Scotland's top prosecutor, Lord Advocate Dorothy Bain, ordering a review of the controversial guidelines. The 18-year-old, who came bravely forward after he was allowed to walk free, hours before during court, was told last week the Crown is still refusing to prosecute. Dorothy Bain said he's not being prosecuted. And wait, because you're going to get to the point when you see this. This is unbelievable the reasoning behind it she said i have been denied any sense of justice at every turn because of a system that allows auras of women to avoid prosecution for their crimes there is no closure no punishment and not even any criminal record of the crime this was a box ticking exercise her 46 year old mum added we are disgusted by this decision. Prosecutors have had multiple chances to change their mind and they haven't. And that woman, now Scotland's top legal brain, as it were, says that men can are women and walk free from court because they don't want to prosecute this. On one hand, they're trying to remove juries from cases like this because not enough of them are being prosecuted. And then she refuses to prosecute the ones they have, which goes to show two things. One, the SNP think women are worthless and don't need protecting in law. 
And secondly, the removal of juries from those cases is not why they want to remove juries. That's just the first little thing. That's the excuse they want to use so they can take juries out of one area and then expand it until there's no juries in any case in Scotland. And so it's basically the administration, the executive prosecuting you and you're guilty before you walk in because the decision will already have been made. It proves the entire case and the Lord Advocate's so-called review is nothing but a joke. Uh, he has now got no criminal record and if he ever does this again, it will be treated as a first offender. And it's like what he did to our daughter, she said, will never have mattered to him at all. Uh, the alleged man was, or he was a man, was handed, the alleged Ara, was handed a diversion from prosecution in June because of his age, because he was under 25, and all criminal proceedings were scrapped. This is what, now, here we go. Get ready to get angry. He had been due to take up a football scholarship in the United States and as an alternative to prosecution and without admitting any crime, he was offered and agreed to do a six-week social work course. He ours a woman and then, instead of being prosecuted, he does a six-week social work course so that he can take up a scholarship in America to do soccer or football, whatever they, what it is, a football scholarship in the United States, where he can possibly end up earning millions upon millions a year, having done this to a woman, and, the, and what? The authorities are bending over backwards to reward him for doing this. Come on, you SNP voters. Even you, even you cannot admit that this is right. Even you have to admit that if someone ours your daughter, you don't want them given a fucking scholarship because Dorothy Bain thinks doing this to women is perfectly fucking acceptable. If you vote SNP, you are scum. You are doing this to women. That is who you are. SNP, you are doing this because you are the lowest pieces of shit. The SNP government and every single person who votes for them is rewarding men who are women with fucking scholarships. I hope you're proud. I'm coming up. I stepped away. I had a cup of tea and I calmed down. But to be honest, I'm still fuming. Is this what the SNP stands for? Is this what Scotland has become? A country where if you are a woman, if you do this to a woman, you're allowed to walk completely free. You have the inconvenience of spending a few hours in a classroom. But then you can go off and earn millions doing your football scholarship so you can get picked up and spend the rest of your life happy, carefree and joyous in the knowledge that you more or less can do what you like and that there will never be any repercussions. Is that the Scotland people want? Even the SNP voters must surely not want that for their children. But apparently they do, because this isn't the first time it's happened, and you guarantee it won't be the last. And yet these SNP voters still, still will vote for this party who want to do this to women and children. That is why whenever you see someone who votes SNP, know exactly what they are. This is what they are. They are child abusers and they are aras and attackers of women because they want it. They vote for it. They think it's okay. They think it's acceptable and will not vote this government out. Thank you very much for watching. I'm stopping. Stay safe, stay well and I will speak to you later. Bye.